What's up, Bears fans? And welcome to Resinus College Sports Network. I'm your co-host, James Schold. And I'm your co-host, Steve Weissman. Happy spring break! On today's episode, we will look at the games from the past week, including the men's lacrosse game and opening day for the baseball team. Today's episode will also feature a unique segment looking at six teams going away for spring break. All right, let's go. We present to you Sports on Main. Improving on their record to 2-1 and one this week, winning at home, the men's lacrosse team had an impressive performance on Patterson Field, winning 13-9. Dominating the first and fourth quarters, the Bears scored nine goals and only allowed two. Tyler Neal showed out again this week with five goals, three of which carried the Bears to the win in the fourth quarter. With 45 shots and 31 shots on goal, the Bears nearly connected on 70% of their shots. Next, the team will head to Virginia to take on Christopher Newport on Wednesday at 4. This past Wednesday, the baseball team fell to TCNJ on the road 13-3. The Bears did not go down without a fight, scoring their three runs in the final two innings. In the top of the seventh, freshman Dylan Runsdorf had his first career hit with a double that drove in Matteo Falcone from second base. TJ Snyder came in and held the Lions offense to only one run in his three innings pitch. He also gave up three hits, had three strikeouts, and two walks. The Bears will face Stevenson this Friday and Saturday. Make sure to follow the action. This year, the Bears are going back on spring break trips after last year the COVID pandemic caused them to be canceled for health and safety concerns. This weekend, while we go home for break, six teams including men's and women's tennis, baseball, softball, women's lacrosse, and golf. The men's and women's tennis teams will fly down to Orlando on Saturday and stay just 30 minutes south in Kissimmee. Throughout the week, the teams will be training all throughout the morning and afternoon. Senior Captain Maddie Russell had a chance to talk to us about the trip, and she said this. As a senior, I'm excited that I'm able to have one last spring break trip with the team. Spring break is the kickoff of our season, and it is a week of intense match play and team bonding. Maddie also noted that the team's most anticipated times while in Florida are the night matches where they get to compete against each other and bond under the lights. Both the men's and women's golf teams will drive down to Pinehurst, North Carolina on Saturday to play six different courses in the area. The area is famously known to be the home of American golf and was home to Donald Ross, one of the most famous course designers ever. The team will play courses including Tobacco Road and UNC Finley, the home of the UNC golf program. We got a chance to catch up with junior TJ Stan before the teams left and he spoke out about the meaning of this trip to the program saying, we are lucky that the school let us go on this trip every year, and the fact that we are able to spend a week in such a historic area with each other is honestly crazy when you think about it. TJ also had some insight on how the team uses this trip to prepare for the start of their season, which is on their ride home in Virginia next Saturday, saying, it really does hype you up because once we get back, our season almost starts immediately, and after a week straight of playing some of the best golf in the country, we will be ready to play our best. Hearing TJ talk so highly about the trip and their preparation for the first match makes it seem like the golf teams are ready to go low. The softball team will be heading down to Florida to compete in Claremont facing 10 other teams while down south. With the warm temperatures and abundance of competition, the Lady Bears are set for a busy spring break. Playing teams from places like Nebraska and Colorado, the team will experience all different types of talents and athletes from every corner of the country. After the break from last year's COVID pandemic, I'm sure that the team is very excited to get back down south. Enjoy the Florida sun. The baseball team will be taking a pit stop on their way to Myrtle Beach to take on Stevenson. You can check out the results of Friday's game on the athletics website at ursinusathletics.com. The team will then face them again in a doubleheader on Saturday before they head seven and a half hours south to Myrtle. Facing eight teams while on their trip, the team is sure to have a busy schedule. The new scenery and the warm weather will give the team a great setting to really lock in and be ready to play their first home game against Eastern in a doubleheader on Saturday the 19th. Being a senior and a member of the baseball program, I'm really excited to go down to spring break again after not being able to last year. I think it's a great bonding experience for myself and the team. And again, I'm really excited to get down there. Yeah, we would like to wish you and your team best of luck. Thank you. Women's lacrosse will be taking a very unique trip this year to Puerto Rico. This is an interesting experience for the team, flying so far from home to play their match against the Roanoke Maroons. We got a chance to talk to senior Riley Morgan about the experience, and she seemed very excited, saying this. 
it's a point in the season where it's the perfect time for everyone to really get to know each other before we move on to conference play. It's also just a great opportunity for all of us to play a really competitive out-of-conference game in a beautiful place where we probably wouldn't get the opportunity to go to otherwise. Now that just about wraps up everything we have here for this episode of Sports on Main. One last thing before we go. I would like to thank you all so much for tuning in and to give a friendly reminder to follow all of our social medias and the links for those are in the description below. We are so excited to continue making content for you all after spring break, but for updates during, be sure you follow the links. From all of us here at our Science College Sports Network, I'm James Schull. And I'm Steve Weissman. And as always, Go, go Bears. Bears! We present to you Sports on Maine.